Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. It wouldn't be the range without some armor tests. Today we have a retest of the AR500 armor or slash RMA armament model 1078 polyethylene level 3 NIJ certified plate. Let's throw this guy in the table and talk about what we're going to do today. So if you haven't seen my previous tests on this plate, I'll put a link in the description below. But in that previous test, we pretty much threw M193 at this plate, 308, and it has stopped it no problem. The M855 at our 16 inch velocity and the M855A1 both penetrated, which usually is the case with polyethylene. It can stop insane speeds, but anything that has steel composition is where it starts to fall apart a little bit. So we kind of had a maybe iffy penetration or non-penetration out of the 10 inch SBR barrel. And because that thing has iron sights on it, the M85 path that I can never seem to hit anything with it. What I did was I got some 223 dies and I pretty much downloaded some different velocity ratings here on M855 and M855A1. I tested these prior and got some velocities where I should see, you know, a 10 inch SBR and maybe even slower. So we'll bolt our 10 by 12 plate here to our clay briefcase. We're not really concerned about back face deformation today, mainly just penetration. I like to leave the plate there for a compressible media and something to bolt the plate to. We'll be at 45 feet as always. Again, we're going to use the 16 inch Stag Procono Digital. It's 50 degrees outside and pretty nice today. So let's do this. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll take two shots of each at each different powder charge and then go down and check it. So first up, I have 18 grains of tack. We have the SS109 or M855 first, then the M855A1 after it. Again, I'm attempting to simulate either a long distance shot or an SBR velocity at our contact range out of our 16 inch barrel. Velocity was 1969. 21.33. We'll have to make a lot of assumptions here, but essentially the M855 is right here. And this is the A1. This was 1900 feet per second, give or take. So this would be around 400 yards. This would be right around 300. Again, these are making assumptions here based on some ballistics charts I found online. There are none for the M855A1. What do you guys think? No pass through on that plate. So, let's step up to the 20 grains of tack and then we have the 22 grains. All right, so now I have 20 grains of tack. We'll repeat the same order. M855 first, then the A1 after it. Twenty three oh six. Twenty two fifty two. Here was the M eight five five, and here was the M eight five five A one. What do you guys think? Hey, still no pass through. There's a little bit of dimple on the back of the plate, but for the most part, the label's still intact. So now I do believe I have twenty two grains. And that should put us right at the 2,500 feet per second mark. We'll see what's gonna happen there. All right, so I fibbed. I thought I loaded up some at 22 grains of the M855A1, but only of the M855. So we'll take a couple shots of that and see what we get. Again, when we did this the last time with the SBR at 10 and a half inches, we did get penetration out of the M855 at the 45 feet distance. Twenty-four sixty-four. Twenty-three ninety-eight. Here was the first shot. Here was the second. What do you guys think? Sorry about that. No pass through. A little bit of back face deformation on that plate there, but nothing to write home about. Impressive. So essentially, at twenty-four hundred feet per second, 
you're looking right around the 200 to 250 yard range, give or take, or at contact distance, an SBR that has a shorter than 10 inch barrel. All right, just to see if I can get a pass through, because I'm usually not happy unless I can penetrate a plate. I brought the TC Compass out with the 22 inch barrel. We have the 22 grain tack loading in the M855, and then the 18 and 20 grain loading in the M855A1. We'll take the three shots and go check out the plate. Up first will be the M855. Go for the top left of the plate. Twenty six, twenty four. So that's right around that ten inch SPR velocity. Now the oops, now the A one. Twenty two, forty four. All right, so here was our M855, here was the A1, and here was the other A1, a little close to that guy right there. Maybe not a fair hit at one inch, maybe, hard to say. What do you guys think? Uh-oh. One, two, three holes there. That one, you can see all the way through made it through and busted out the wood backer there. That one probably went into metal. There's a surprise in that one. Give me a second, I'll get it out. This was the M855, this was the A1, and then the other A1 squeaked out the side right there. And there is our steel penetrating tip there. That was laying inside the clay about a half inch. So it didn't have a lot of velocity to get through the plate after it did but it's still probably going to poke a hole in you. Well, there you all have it. Can polyethylene plates stop M855 or M855A1? Why, yes they can, but only under ideal circumstances. Specifically in our testing, we found at under 10 inch SBR velocities out of both loads or at an extended distance of 200 yards or greater that this plate, the Model 1078 from AR500 Armor slash RMA Armament, is capable of stopping those rounds, and multiples of them. I'd like to thank AR500 Armor for providing us with this plate to test. You all for watching, my Patreon supporters, and until next time, catch you at the range.